Hi, my name is Barnes. I work for the Utmost Secret Lunar Exploration Assistance Foundation, aka The Leaf. As one of the 17 members in this foundation, I know exactly why it's been 50 years since we've been on the moon, and why we'll never return. In the year 1972, Apollo 17 had its last mission to the moon. In fact, every Apollo mission had an adjacent mission to it. The mission would be named like this, reach plus the prime number that is the Apollo's mission. Example, Apollo 11 would have been reach 29 as the adjacent mission, because 29 is the 11th prime number. Our reach missions would have the rockets launched in the jungles and the Amazon, where the uncontactable tribes are. Now I'm not saying they're fake, there are hundreds of real ones. Just one of them are designed for our purposes. Back to the story though, Reach 29 was the first mission to the moon. To start a launch, what we'd have to do is clear a 5 mile radius of any humans but the 20 people meant to be there, plus the astronauts on board. Once that was finished, we'd choose to launch exactly 4 hours after Apollo had launched. Once we caught up to the Apollo lander, we would make an alternative course to a different side of the moon, usually within 15 degrees of curvatures, to the lander on Apollo. The Reach 29 mission actually went great. We got results that Apollo couldn't get, and it was overall successful. But the main part of the story is about Reach 53, which launched during Apollo 17. It was the 7th of December, and the launch pad was optimal for takeoff. Like per usual, we launched four hours after the Saturn rocket. We were on our way to the moon, when we noticed something strange about 50 miles from the surface of the moon. It's now December the 10th, and we were closer. We had better resolution of the ground, and we could see some geometric shapes. The Apollo rocket was about 8 degrees of curvature away from us so they couldn't see what we were seeing. About 38 minutes later, we were on the surface, and the first thing we needed to do was check what those weird shapes in the ground were. They were about three arc minutes away from us. We weren't prepared for what we were about to see. When we were there, we noticed that those weren't shapes in the ground, but instead, they were mini igloos made of moon rocks. No one even had any idea of how those could have been made. We were staring at those things for like 20 minutes, when two out of the four in our astronaut group went inside. After 30 seconds, one of them came out doing a quick gallop, and the other one came out the back of the structure. When I tried to talk to the one that galloped out of the lunar igloo, his radio stopped working. It was just static and muffled voice saying, He's not with, then dead silence. I summed it up as a radio air and just kept going. Since this was a radio air, we had to return back to our lander. On our way back, I tried to talk to the astronaut that came out the back of the lunar igloo. When I turned into his radio, I just heard gargled humming. I told him that he's not funny and he just flipped me off. I was mad, but I just kept walking when I noticed that the American flag on his arm didn't have 50 stars. In fact, it was just a red rectangle with a small blue rectangle in the top left, like an American flag with no stripes and stars. When I looked at his helmet, it looked like the helmet from the Reach 47 mission, not the Reach 53 mission that is currently going on. I asked another astronaut, hey, how did the Reach 47 mission go by the way? He replied with, oh that one? Well, it went fine, but it had to be cancelled because of an astronaut that died of asphyxiation. I instantly felt dread fall over me, like a huge wave of water. My heart sank in my chest, and I just continued walking. We were about 50 feet from the lander at this point, and I was just staring at the human. 
when the astronaut I talked to said, Hey, isn't that home? Then his radio just cut off. I started galloping faster than I'd ever galloped before, towards the lander. That's when another astronaut said, Hey, redacted. This isn't a race. Slow down, man. I picked up a moon rock and threw it as if I was Clayton Kershaw. It hit the astronaut right in the head and cracked it. That's when the other astronaut said, Redacted, what the hell is wrong with you? He was facing me when the astronaut I hit picked up a sharp moon rock and stabbed him. I heard his screams on his radio, and then it cut off. The other astronaut left, tried to stop this monster. What the monster did was a 540 kick right to his helmet. The helmet instantly shattered, and he was dead within seconds. The monster was walking right towards me when I booked it to the lander. I turned on the rockets and looked out the window. The monster punched out the rest of the glass, and I saw his face. It looked like skull with a thin layer of flesh that was tightly pulled back with empty eye sockets. When I got home, I told the leaf of what I saw and the pictures I took. All the photos plus my testimony was put in a folder and sent to the US government. We've never had men on the moon ever since.